Hello world, I'm in and nice to meet you Got some questions I'm wondering Can you answer like how much longer I do this? And hello guys, it's me Blue Flame Fire Z And I'm with a special guest today Wanna to say hi? How you guys doing? Peets is the best here, aka Mr. Peets And uh, I'm joining here, the dual comp My boy, Blue Flame Fire Yeah Man, this guy is awesome Best gamer I've ever seen Using my masters. Uh, yeah, kind yeah, of so just a little up? bit, you know. Oh, not much. Just you know, playing some Digimon. What's up with you, man? Yeah, I was just watching the anime right now, like about five minutes ago. It's pretty fun. I'm just watching season two in Adventure O Two. So what? Uh, what uh, Digimon series is your favorite? What? What Digimon series is your favorite? Um, like what? Yeah. What um, well, I really don't know. I've not seen all of them, but I'm gonna go with the, the second one. Just the cause, one? yeah, just cause the season two and the season one characters are in like Tai, and all my favorite Digimon like Agumon and Gabumon are there. So yeah. Yeah. Especially Vimon when he oh, oh. evolves into Imperial Dragon Mon or Imperial Dramon, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, mine, I think mine would be. I think it's called Tamers, Digimon Tamers, as it's, it's yeah, the yeah, one with uh, the, Terry yeah, two thousand and six one. Yeah. I was, I was, yeah. yeah. Although yeah. I did like, uh, I did like the uh, the one, the season one and two, because it had yeah. like before Terrymon, my favorite one is Patamon. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it wasn't Terrarimon? Terrarimon, uh, your be favorite? Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. Which What's, one's your which, which one's your favorite? Uh, that's a hard one. I I think Terrarimon is an awesome Pokemon. I I loved him so much when I was a kid, but I have to say it's really hard. Who I think Irpmon because he was such a like cool guy in the series when he like you know first he was evil then he became nice. Yeah, I got you. Actually, okay, Irpmon's pretty cool. Yeah, evolves into Blizzelmon. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. Hey. Blizzelmon. Yeah, he's, he's pretty cool. Yeah. What's uh, what's this? Which season was that? Four, I think that was the fourth one or third one. That's no, that was that was in Tamers. That was in Digimon Tamers. That's the one that. Uh, oh, yeah. That, my favorite season. That's the one with Terrymon. Yeah. yeah. It had uh, Terrymon, Guillaume. Yeah, Terrymon. And then, is what like you know, Terra, you know, in the game, in game money. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of people ask this question, but you know, how do you get such high numbers as 50 plus Terra? I know there's sites that where you can well, pay like, money when and. You go, when, you, you're, when you're going into like 50 plus Terra, like, that's basically pretty much most people that have 50 plus Terra are either have been saving up for like month or two or either have bought like a cash egg and got a five out of five and sold it other yeah. than that like other than those two ways i really don't think that you, there's a high or a fast way that you can get 50 terra yeah, that's a really high number. yeah you know foxy gamer Pretty yeah funny. i watch his videos and he's always getting five out of five yeah i i, I don't uh, the know thing how is though, is, the thing is like if you notice about his videos he's not the one not like all of his hatchings aren't done by him yeah, yeah, I see. I, so I like, see that. Yeah, but like when yeah, so the, when it's made by him, I don't I don't get it how he gets that like big number. I think, I think it's just like his guild, like his guild, and then they just like work together, and he just posts it all on one channel. Yeah. But like, I mean, uh, I, I don't know. He but he says he doesn't use silk, but I mean, I don't see how you can because he gets so many five out of fives. Like it's just like there's no way you can't. Use uh, I think every Digimon he has hatched is five out of five. If I'm mis not mistaken. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't, 
Like, I don't know. Cause my, most of mine are 4 or 5, and that's because that's cause most of my buy them with 12T, or like, like a really cheap place where I hatch them, because that's like the 4 or 5s are really easy, but like, I don't know how you can get so many 5 out of 5. Yeah, well, uh, you know Mecha Noir Mon? I just hatched one, thanks to yeah. your tutorial, which was like really awesome. Like, yeah, I have. Yeah, I yeah, you should check out his guide if you want to know how to hatch mercenary eggs. Like, I got so much help from that video that I was able to hatch a four out of five. Yeah, it only cost me two T. Yeah, that's exactly. That's why. That's why it's better, honestly. Yeah. Like for Big Mom. Gobblemon, Gobblemon's pretty hard to hatch, so it's gonna take to get like a, it's gonna take you like a lot of eggs. Like, yeah. One thing I like that I didn't specify in my video though mm -hmm. is that like like special Digimon like Gobblemon they take more eggs to hatch because they're like harder. I don't know why. Yeah, I, probably because they don't want you to get Omnimon that easily. Yeah, it's like it really it takes like I, I believe like. I still haven't even hatched it. I believe I cracked like 70 eggs trying to yeah. hatch a 4 out of 5 goblin one. I actually so, almost. Like, yeah. I'm gonna keep trying and stuff. So I actually almost. I gave... actually just hatched it. Which, which Digimon? Which Digimon, did you, which Digimon did you hatch? Uh, the Alphamon. Oh, the Alpha. One, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty awesome. It yeah, I got it. I got it. Great deal. I found like uh, this guy who was selling it, and he he wanted like 14 T, but I ended up narrowing it down and getting. He gave me, he sold it to me for 11 T. It was a wow. uh, four to five all ultimate. Ultimate. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, that's that's one thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a guide on pretty soon is just like how to bargain because most people when when they set a price they're like, you gotta know when like somebody wants something desperately. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I see. Can, I, I know that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, how much so does you just, like, bargain basically? Yeah. How much does rock data cost? Like 1.5 m or 15 or 500 bits? Rock data? Yeah. Um, I, when I sell it, I sell it for 500, 500 b. Because I mean, yeah. like, honestly, people will sell it for one m, but it's really not that not mm. worth it. Like I, like if you want, if you want rock data just for anyone, really, go ahead and PM me. I'll sell it. I have like yeah, over yeah. like 500 rock. Yeah, data. I saw that when you had tried to hatch to make a normal. It got that much. Yeah. It's just like, and like, just as far as like pricing in the whole game is just overdone. Like, yeah. I mean, like, like it's 4M for B, for 1B data is just ridiculous. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm the only one who sells them for 2M. Like, I don't know why. But don't, yeah. don't sell them for 2M. You can go, you can go like 3, 3.5, 3.5, yeah. you, you'll sell them real quick. Yeah. No one, no one sells it under 4. Yeah, I know. Like, that, that, that's so. Annoying, like when I'm trying to hatch, I'm trying to hatch Elamon right now. And so annoying to try to get beast data, because, um, like, I don't want to go farm it, because it's pretty hard, because I want, uh, and, you know, Panjamon, the next. It takes a while. Yeah, it takes the next evolution of uh, Leomon. You know, uh, in uh, next to the Megadromon, where you get the Gizumon AT. The white lion, I forgot his name. Panjamon, something like that. He's a, he's Panjamon, yeah, yeah yeah he's a, a beast Digimon, but so hard to get like an egg from him. I didn't even get an egg. I get I got a, nor a normal egg. But no Lacmon eggs. Yeah. Like what you want to do with the Lacmon eggs is you want to either fight Monster Card, uh, Monster Card two or threes. Yeah. And just buy eggs. He's, he's that has like Electmon eggs are the cheapest eggs. Yeah, many people sell them for 25 M or 30. Yeah, exactly. They're so. Do you think it's a good idea to buy Terra from sites uh, for like re real money? You know, pay them like I don't know, ten dollars. No, usually those are scams. Oh, those are scams. Those really? Like if you're gonna if you're gonna go ahead and invest money, like here's here's I'll tell you the best way to invest money to mm -hmm. get the most out of Terra. Yeah. Like to not risk it. So let's say you want to buy like um, a four out of five, right? Mm -hmm. Um, what you want to do is you want to like uh, you you spend ten bucks and you get a hundred silk, right? Yeah. Buy like buy like five mode selectors, right? And sell each mode selector at like three point five, and that's gonna end you with like eighteen T. And that's like just spent. That's as much as you would spend on like a, a normal cash egg, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
like but mode selectors. How end up getting uh? Here. How easily does mode selectors sell? Getting... Um, pretty easy because not a lot of people sell them. It's a really good strategy. Like the reason I don't post like that strategy is because it's like it doesn't make it's not like it doesn't make sense because no one not a lot everyone has silk. But like if you do have silk, that's the best way to do it. Like um, there's this website I I go to. It's called Points to Shop, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you do you do some. It's better than the website, and you do some surveys, and you can get, easily get like 200 silk off just like doing two hours of surveys. That's 20 bucks, and you get and you get it's guaranteed because I've done it. That's how I get my silk. My problem is that um, when I try to do surveys, they don't work. Like I fill everything. Like it's fake. That's but... the thing. Like what you do, you do the free silk, right? Yeah. Yeah. Don't do it there. There's a, there's a special website. I'll I'll go ahead and I'll post a video on it and I'll show you guys how to do everything. Yeah. But it's a website and it just like it'll give you like this this redeemable code for twenty dollars and it, and then you enter it in the Digimon website and it mm -hmm. gives you premium silk, not just regular silk. Wow. Well, premium silk. And it so does you can work. Actually sell the items. It does work, right? Yeah, it does. So that's, that's how I get my money. But that's how I get my soul. You know, is it worth it to buy Evos and sell them, or does they only sell for one Terra? Yeah. No, Evos, Evos. If you're if you're if you're gonna if you're just like trying to buy and sell, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna. That's just that's what mode selectors are for. I know they're like useless to you, but a lot of people want mode selectors, and a lot of people will pay three point five. Why does most? Now, why you can also? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. You can also sell archives too, but mode selectors will give you a bigger profit. The thing I hate is, you know, Digimon uh, archives, or what they called. Like, one slot costs so much. I don't know why, but costs so much. Because they cost, it's just like, it's because they're hard to get, and the only way to get them is through premium silk. Yeah. So, I mean, like. I, have, I really have no problem paying uh, premium silk, but, like, I don't know why they sell 29. P that's 29 premium silk for yeah. one slot only, which is like they should give you at least two slots for that much money. No, I, I, I don't know why. And the same thing is like like you know the hatch backup. Mm -hmm. It's like it's 27 silk for one hatch backup. Like I feel like they should give you like five for 27. Silk. Yeah, like who will buy five hatch backup like each 27 premium silk? That's too much. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But they they actually fixed it because um, I don't know if you pay attention, but like you know what KDMO is? Yeah. Um, it's the Korean version, and in the Korean version now they have this uh, they have a new hatching system where like you can play a game to improve your chances of oh. getting a level. They should do that. Yeah. Like they should do that. Korean, like the Korean um, Digimon Masters, I think it's better in some oh, in some way. Have you played it? Like I've seen videos about it, but I really never made an account. Oh, it's it, it's definitely well. It's it's like the reason why is because it's really hard to make an account. Yeah. So like, see, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna host a selling for my account because I don't really play it anymore. But it's a it's a level like forty account, so it's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. and it's got a lot of unhatched four out of fives. It's got like a pawn chest mon tame. The KDMO account. Yeah. Did you sell that? No, I'm I'm gonna sell it soon. Mm. Probably for like thirty to forty T. How do you sell it for thirty or forty T? Like do you just give uh, it probably you probably go in the game like I'll go in the game and I'll just shout like selling KDMO account ah. like message me. And Is... then um, in, yeah. the, in the normal Digimon Masters, English version, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because most most of those guys it's like um I can create as many accounts as I want because I understand how to do it. It's really complicated to do it, so like, yeah. like the it's thing just like with the parents or I forgot what you need to, a card or a special code. Yeah, it's called a KSN. Yeah. Or KSSN. It's a Korean social security number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's like it's a really it's like really complicated to get. So like unless you know how to do it, it's like you're not. I've done an account before, like I had the generator, but I never used it anyways. Because I already have GDMO and I don't like leveling up like from the beginning. It's like just a bit boring for me. Oh, it's, you, in that game you level up so fast. Level up fast? So, oh yeah, it took me like, um, like in four hours I got my Digimon to like level like 55. Wow, in four hours, like from level 1 to 55. 
Yeah, like because all they have these quests. They have like um, and because they, they have a, a ton of new maps. And, yeah. Uh, and the new map, mm -hmm. uh, like in the new maps, like the quests, like they give you a million experience a quest. Wow. And they're, and they're like daily quests, and they're daily quests. So like I mean, you just level up like, like so easy in that game. It's. GDMO should learn from that, man. Like it, should, it could get so well, many know, like, people. Yeah, and on top of that, a million experience. Um, you get like you know how in ours it'll be like a hundred percent at the bottom. Yeah, hundred percent. Three hundred or five hundred. Yeah, they get five hundred. So. Wow, it's like one million plus five hundred percent. Yeah, they're really. It's just like they're they're. It's just really not like fair to how and they they're like in that game they always give you a lot of free stuff. Yeah. Like. Like I have it, I've only played for let's say like six hours, mm -hmm. yeah. and I already have like like seven unhatched four out of fives. Like, Do they give you four out of like, fives? Yeah, like they give you as you level as you level your tamer up, mm -hmm. they give you four out of fives. And like right as you start the game, right as you start the game, there's like ten Digimon that you get to you scan it, and you get a four out of five. Like out of, there's like a. Alphamon, Goblimon, Xbmon. Wow, they're good, they're good Digimon. Yeah, like good Digimon. Antmon, Patamon, and you scan it, and you get, you'll get one of those Digimon to start with. Huh, wow. Along with your starter Digimon. So much better, man. But the only problem is, like, Korean. You don't know what you should do in a quest. Uh, they have a they have English patches for that, so you can, like, patch it up. The, the only thing with that though is it's so easy. It's just like it's not fun because it's just like you. It's so easy. Like with, with this with GDMO, it's it's a uh, more it's challenging. So it's it's a lot funner. Yeah, I I have final question because we've been recording in about twenty minutes now. All right, let's hear. It. Yeah, you know the maze. A lot of people say the maze you level up fast like in there. But I really don't get the mm -hmm. maze. How how does it work? Well. To go in the maze, because mm -hmm. I haven't even been in the maze. To go in the maze, you have to be level fifty-five. Yeah, I know that. Tamer, which is extremely like I'm. I'm currently level fifty tamer. Yeah, for, for five and, levels. Uh, it's like five levels to go. Yeah, it's five levels, but those five levels will take you forever. Cause I'm I'm currently trying to level up in the dungeon B two, mm -hmm. which is like you get there when you're level fifty, yeah. and that's that's a pretty nice area. And they oh. give you good experience there, but it's not like I, I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen the maze, and as soon as I go in the maze, I'll let you I'll let you know personally yeah. like how good it is. Because this Cause is, I'm interested too. Yeah, I, you know you say they say you have to be a rookie, like you can't evolve. Did you evolve there? Just a rookie Digimon, and you fight and you level up fast. Which I guess that's the, their way of giving XP. Like in KDMO, but you have to do it the hard way. Like it takes longer time. Yeah, it does. They should they should take the XP thing from KDMO. It's like so much better if you level up just a bit faster. It takes me forever to yeah, level up. Saying. Like we'll be like if they give us if they give us more stuff, like we'll be we'll in return play the game more. So like yeah. I mean. Cause like you you know you know this uh this compensation that they're supposed to give us like two weeks ago they still have not given us you know and you know yeah. what I mean, from the recommendations so, I mean I don't know they slack a lot on GDMO yeah like the things that they give the thing that they give like the thing that makes you bigger for a like amount of time sucks like who's gonna use that it's like not useful it's like just to make it cooler or Digimon cooler or bigger. It's not useful. Neither uh, does the yeah, cake. Take... The cake that the game takes too long to level up the tamer. Yeah. Take like two That's... level, two Digimon levels uh, is about one Digimon, uh, one tamer level. If you level up your Digimon two times, or like yeah, two times, your tamer will level up one time in the meantime if you get right yeah that's about it so yeah. your digimon like when you're level when your digimon's level like 90 your tamer should be like level 45 well yeah it's, it's... but that's if that's if you're just like doing it with one straight digimon mm -hmm. like me i have i have one level 78 digimon mm -hmm. yeah and then a 46 a 
43, 241s, and about like 330s. Have you got a 5 out of 5? Do I have uh, ter my Terrier Mon's a 5 out of 5? Yeah, 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 I forgot about that. That was a Silk Digimon, right? Like Silk Egg, Cash, cash Egg. Uh, yeah, that was the only, that's the only Silk Digimon I bought so far. Yeah, pretty lucky, you know, 5 out of 5. Oh yeah, I, dude, that's what I said. Like it was the first, it was the first ever self Digimon I bought. Like just scanned it. It was a level five champion. I was like, wow, I'm lucky. Do you scan the egg? So like, I'm do lucky. you just get? I was, I was so happy. Yeah. Like, how do you get five of fives from a cash shop? Do you just buy the egg and you get one, or you get it randomly by scanning it? Yeah, you, you just. It's all about luck, I guess. I like, it's all about luck, like in just scanning it, just like. I don't know. There's there's no really like tip to it. It's just like all about luck and stuff. Yeah, I I have okay two two fast questions. Backup discs are they worth Let's it go. to buy from Premium Silk, like from the cash shop? Backup discs. Yeah. Um, kind of yes and no. There I don't know. It depends on if you're a high level. Like if your Digimon's already like um like level fifty and above, then no, because you can just fight cards and cards drop them pretty pretty easily yeah my level and I'm yeah and, my... and um also they're pretty, they're pretty cheap to buy too they're only like 300 M so I mean yeah so my second question and... yeah yeah my second question is I have a third level 36 uh, Mac Galgamon how I I trained him on Mega Dramon or whatever they called you know the ruined historic Digimon he doesn't level up that fast. Like, there's no now, other wait, place. So you, so you're in the ruined historics. Yeah. Level and thirty-six. The, what level are you? Level thirty-six. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to train there anymore. Uh, you want to move to the oil refinery three. Where Where is that? Is like, um, if you want, like, we, I don't know. What are you doing? Are you playing after this? Playing. What do you mean I'm playing after this? Are you playing GDMO after this? After the Yeah, yeah. I'll show I'll show you where it is. It's way it's in the back of the Yokohama East Village. It's oh. like you have to keep going way far back. Yeah. And and you'll level up really fast back there. That's why that's why I see most of the people go there and make their videos. Yeah, they fight. They either fight the Dex Darugamons, but I recommend those like late at night because that's when people like usually during the day people are always hogging them because they drop like sixteen thousand experience. And that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. You'll like you'll like um, in thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. In thirty minutes, I put on a, a thousand XP booster, right? Yeah, one hundred or one thousand. One thousand, like, cause I had one, one of those little boost left things, one of one thousand percent XP. Yeah. And my Digimon went from thirty to forty-one in thirty minutes. I thought you can only I, get like the highest is two hundred percent XP boost. Yeah. Right now, just cause, just cause, like that's what they done. Except on the weekends, you could get four hundred if you do like. If you have a 200 boost plus another 200 boost, if you use it, like you'll you'll get like 400. But how do you get a thousand boosts? You said you had a thousand. Um, they gave it away like about two months ago. They gave away, they gave away these thousand XP things because uh, they had some kind of event going on. You can't buy them anymore. Uh, no, you can't get them anymore. Damn. Maybe, maybe they'll maybe they'll have another event. Hopefully, yeah. so. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and yeah, I really forgot what I should say, but uh, if you enjoy this, leave a like and subscribe, and of course I'm gonna leave a uh, piece of the best uh, channel link in the description, go check him out, he's a really good guy, makes very good videos, awesome videos, so yeah, I wanna say bye, probably want to. Alright, see you guys. Yeah. Bye.